Hi folks, this is Gabe at security.org and today I wanted to talk about my favorite free VPNs, that's virtual private networks, because maybe you'd like a little bit more anonymity online, uh, but you don't really have the change in your pocket to pay a lot of money. So of course we have a comprehensive written review on these free VPNs over at security.org. Be sure to check that out uh, if you're a reader instead of a watcher, uh, actually like I happen to be. Now, when it comes to a free VPN, you really wanna stay safe because you know what they say, if you're not paying for something, oftentimes you're the product and that can especially be the case with VPNs and all your information out there. So today I wanted to work with VPNs that maybe didn't give you a ton of data, but were ultimately free. And by that, I mean, I didn't have to put any type of credit card information in. There are many VPNs out there that are fun to use uh, that will give you a free trial period, but they really don't give you uh, anything beyond a week or two weeks. So today we're sticking with the purely free, no credit card added VPNs. Okay, let's kick off today's look at the best free VPNs with my personal favorite uh, of the free VPNs, which is Proton VPN. Now, the major headline here is that there are going to be no advertisements with Proton VPN and there's no data limit. So maybe that's two headlines no data limit, no advertisements. On top of that, they also don't have any logging as they're based in Switzerland, have pretty solid privacy laws. Now, when you're actually using Proton VPN, you get access on one device to three countries: uh, the Netherlands, sometimes called Holland, uh, the United States, and Japan. Now, this may not sound like much, uh, but I promise you, when it comes to free VPNs, this is actually blockbuster because you're getting all of those countries um, with no limit in terms of data, and it's pretty easy to do so. Um, on top of that, I do wanna point out that if you are looking to move uh, away from free versions, this is of course the best of those, but they also are one of my favorite companies uh, when it comes to their premium options. Now the next VPN on our list of best free VPNs is one that's been around for a while, it's gone under a few different names, uh, we're talking about Hide Me. Now, Hide.me has a lot going for it, especially the fact that there are no ads, and it does give you 10 gigabytes per month to use, no strings attached, you can use them however your heart desires, and you don't have to worry about any logging of your data because that's not something required under Malaysian law. Now with the free version of Hide Me, you have access on one device, one connection, but you do get five separate locations. You get Canada, you get uh, Germany, you get the Netherlands, and you get the East and West Coast of the United States. So you can go and jump into any of those locations, easy peasy. Now, when it comes to protocols, you do have access to three different ones, but you do not have access to the WireGuard protocol that only comes with the paid version of Hide Me. Next on the list of best free VPNs is Hotspot Shield. Now, Hotspot Shield is not as, how do I put this, generous as the first two VPNs in our list. It gives you 500 megabytes per day and it caps your speed at two megabytes per second. Uh, so you're really gonna be just going pretty slowly along uh, when you're using Hotspot Shield. So with the free version, you do get one connection and you get one location and it's inside of the United States. So a bit of a, you know, one trick pony in that sense. But hey, at the end of the day, remember this is the free version. Well, free in the sense that you're not paying anything for it, but it does have advertisements, which uh, can be a little racy at times, uh, but that's something to keep in mind. But you know, it is free, it will work, uh, and it's something you can think about uh, when you're in a pinch. Now the final free VPN that we're gonna talk about today is Tunnel Bear. Now I'm talking about Tunnel Bear mainly because you know it has a little soft spot in my heart from being one of the first VPNs I used back when I lived in China. Now something that I have to mention though is that you only get 500 megabytes per month with Tunnel Bear. Now don't get me wrong, you can add a couple more gigabytes here and there by tweeting about it, getting a friend to join, putting it on your desktop, uh, but you're basically gonna be out of data very quickly with Tunnel Bear. Now, if you're abroad and just need to, you know, read your home's front page on the newspaper for one reason or another, you can do that and just hope there's not a lot of data uh, being processed on that front 
page, um, but I mainly put Tunnel Bear VPN uh, here because I love this animation of the bear going in one tunnel and out another. All right, so those are four free VPNs, and let me leave you with some parting words. Uh, you can see here that there's a lot of variance even in these free VPNs. I mean, Proton offering you a whole lot, uh, Tunnel Bear offering not as much, uh, but you will note if you ever decide to make that move into the premium options that there's a big bad world of VPNs out there, and free ones can be a good place to start your search, see what you like, see what you need, uh, see what speaks to you. Uh, so best free VPNs, let's start here and maybe eventually you say, hey, you know what? I'm ready to take that next step and you look at some of those premium options. Well, I just wanna say thank you for watching today's video. Uh, you know, we're really here each day trying to provide you with the best in home and digital security at security.org. And if you appreciate today's video, maybe, you know, drop us a comment. We'd always love to hear from you. Uh, subscribe to our channel, security.org, or, you know, just like the video if you enjoyed what we presented for you. As always, my name is Gabe. This is security.org. Be secure.